Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Youth Man. Today is going to be an exciting day. As you know, I currently own the RF7 ones, the original version. I also have the Klipsch RF7 version 2s in my living room. And just a few moments ago, I received a phone call from the freight company saying they are on their way to deliver the Klipsch RF7 version 3s. So I'm excited over the next few weeks, we're going to be able to compare all three of those side by side in my home hooked up to the same equipment in the same listening environment so it should be an exciting couple weeks so check out the next few videos so we're heading to the house to do an unboxing what are we all huh? well um how about right over there nice how do we good? All right, guys, so here we are in the garage. We're going to unwrap these RF7 threes, get them off the pallet, take them inside, and we're going to do an unboxing. So here we go. how you do it hey you know I could have taken a knife and cut it right down the middle and pulled it off really really quickly but what fun would that be let's get the rest of the tape off of here alrighty guys so here we have the RF 7 threes and these are a natural cherry finish this box on top has a pair of RF 7 2 crossovers so as I've stated in my previous videos my RF 7 twos have the Dean G crossovers so up here on the top, this is a pair of RF-72 stock crossovers. I'm going to swap those out so that I can compare the RF-7s to the RF-72s to the RF-73s and their stock components. So let's get these inside and let's get the unboxing. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get these unboxed. Alright, so we're going to remove the base plate from the top. This will be what mounts to the bottom of the speaker. Inside is an instruction manual. So as I shared in my Forte 3 video, the way I like to remove speakers, especially heavy speakers, the RF7 3s weigh 97 pounds. So if you try to pull this straight up out of the top, it's not going to happen. Some guys like to lay them down and try to slide them out. The problem with that is down here at the bottom it's sitting in a base so if you try to pull it out it's going to slide off that base and hit the ground what i like to do is lay it on its side stand it up on its end so it's upside down then we'll pull the box right off the top so let's go ahead and do that so we're going to lay it down now these are a lot bigger box than the forte threes but you can still manage it with one person you're gonna need to hold the flaps open, reach over on the bottom, begin to lift up. And we're gonna grab on the bottom and lift up really slowly. Okay, now we can do this by ourselves. Okay, we're gonna come down here from the bottom we're gonna lift up. Now you wanna hold the base so it doesn't come sliding down. And now that the speaker is upside down, we can easily remove the box. On this side, that's going to be your speaker grill. Set that aside. All right, so actually this speaker is upright the way it is now. So we're going to turn it around gently here. That's gonna be a sweet speaker. Let's get this thing off here. Okay, since these are kind of inside the styrofoam, I'm gonna take this off first. I'm gonna lean it back. I'm just 
just gonna work our way around this slowly. We don't rip the plastic. All right. We're gonna remove the plastic here. Let's take this top piece off. And there are the RF7 version threes. Man, those are beautiful. So this is my first time viewing the RF7 threes. So we're gonna go ahead and pull these out and take a closer look at them. So in order to get it out from this base, you can stick your hand in the port back here. And then we're just gonna kind of gently bear hug this thing. Use your legs to pick up and that'll come right out. I'm gonna lay it right back down. Put the base off to the side. And we're gonna slide these right out of the way. Man, those look sweet. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. All right, let's get the second one out. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna lay this down, we'll reach down at the bottom. Again, lift up. And again, I always try to, instead of just picking it straight up, I'm gonna reach under the bottom and make sure I grab the base as I come down and support it. Get this turned around. Do the same thing here. You can just kind of rock it back and forth so the plastic comes loose on all the sides. There we go. And once again, we're going to reach around, kind of bear hug it, pick straight up. Take a step back, and that is out of the base. The RF7 threes have a new 1.75 inch titanium diaphragm compression driver. It also has a new refined 90 by 90 hybrid track shakes horn. Below that, we've got two 10 inch dual spun copper ceramic woofers. On the back of the speaker, we have dual rear firing track six ports. So these are new as well for the RF7 III. The RF7 threes have magnetic grills. They're tapered down the sides and the top to match the angle of the bevel in the front. So the RF7 threes retail for $17.99 each. And they come in three available finishes, black ash, natural cherry, and walnut. The 7 threes also come with a slant angle riser. So we're gonna go ahead and install those. Inside we've got the four screws as well as some spikes. Slide that out. Set that to the side. So one thing I noticed is that in the instructions it does say to lay it on its back and install it. The problem is the holes will not line up unless you lift the speaker up. So what we're going to do is flip the speaker up on the top end so it'll be upside down and install it that way. So to install the base, you're going to want to make sure that the skinny part, the width here, is narrow. That's going to be at the back end. The wider part up here is going to be towards the front. So 
We're gonna lay these right on top of here. Line up our holes, perfect. And then you've got your four screws here. We're gonna hand tighten those. And once we get them started, we can just use a Phillips head screwdriver to tighten them all the way down. Now, of course, you don't have to install the base. That's a preference. If you like the style, if you like the look, and if you like the functionality of it, by all means, install them. If you choose not to install them, that's your prerogative. Okay, so now that we have the base installed, if your speakers are gonna be mounted on carpet, some people like to use the included spikes. So those would screw in right here. And you'd put another one here, back here, and right here. My floors are hardwood floors, so of course we don't want to use spikes on that. So instead, Klipsch has included these four little rubber feet. So in my case, I have hardwood floors. So instead of the spikes, we're going to use these four rubber feet. We're going to place them right on top of these metal brackets here. That way that doesn't scratch the floor. So these just peel off. We're going to stick one on each of these metal brackets. Just like that. All right, guys, so here are the RF73s with the bases installed. I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like with the grill on. And again, the grills are magnetic, so they slide right into place. So we're just gonna take a look real close here. Alright guys, well that's going to wrap up this unboxing video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell notification as well because over the next several weeks, we're going to be doing some testing and comparison between the RF7.3s to my RF7.2s as well as to my RF7.1s. I want to give a huge thank you to Clips for sending me these to review. It's going to be an awesome time, so I hope you guys will join us for the next several videos. And as always, be blessed. We'll see you again in the next video.